1940, Jeff Durham was born into a sports-loving family. When he was in the third grade, his father Paul received the position of head football coach at Linfield College and brought the family to McMinnville. Between his Linfield Hall of Fame father and Mack High Hall of Fame brother Terry, Jeff Durham was destined for athletic greatness. After being successful in several youth sports, Jeff entered McMinnville High School in the fall of 1954 as a standout football, basketball, and baseball player. He was the football team's starting tight end from his sophomore to his senior year as the Bears never lost a league game, winning all 25 games and three straight championships. Durham ended his MHS football career with all-league first team and all-state second team selections and two straight state playoff appearances. He became a truly outstanding uh, football player. I think his senior year, uh, which is unbelievable, he led the league in scoring as an offensive end, and he also played some defense. I know in one game at West Lynn, I think he scored four or five touchdowns, and three of them were by passes, and the other two were interceptions. And it was interesting to note that uh, usually a running back is the leading, leading scorer in the league, but I believe that year, uh, Jeff led the league in scoring. As a three-year letterman and two-year starting guard on the varsity basketball team, Jeff and the Grizzlies captured one league championship, two second-place finishes, and three trips to the state tournament. In his senior season, Durham led the Bears in scoring while being chosen to the all-league first team to end a fruitful basketball career. He became an outstanding basketball player when he was a senior, junior and senior too. Could shoot, could drive, very, again, very competitive, very aggressive on the floor, uh, very smart. Good ball handler, good shooter, quick, good passer, and uh, just all around very good athlete. Jeff's success was just as great in baseball as the three-year starter played second base for a season, but ultimately moving behind the plate as the Bears' all-league catcher in his junior and senior seasons. In his final season, Durham led the team in hitting and was chosen to participate in the All-State All-Star Game while the Grizzlies won their third straight league championship. He was very uh, steady as a catcher, very good, and he had good hands, uh, good uh, hand-eye coordination, and uh, caught a good game, and uh, he was a very good uh, catcher to, to pitch to because he's very reliable. But he was a good hitter. He, he was a good uh, all-around baseball player. After graduating as Mack High's most outstanding male athlete in the summer of 1958, Jeff continued his winning ways on the baseball diamond by attending Linfield College and helping the Wildcats win back-to-back -back conference championships in his first two seasons. At that time, he decided to put an end to his virtually untarnished baseball career to solely focus on the main reason he came to Linfield, play football for his father, Paul. He gained valuable experience as a freshman tight end on a team that finished second in the conference and 25th in the nation in the NAIA polls. Moving into the starting lineup as a sophomore, his hard work had paid off and in his junior season, Jeff had become the Cats' leading receiver in total yards. Linfield once again finished second in the conference that season as Paul Durham won the Conference Coach of the Year award and called his team, quote, one of the very best teams I have ever coached, undoubtedly the best second place team in conference history, unquote. The following year, as one of the senior leaders, Jeff and the Wildcats walked their coaches' talk by having one of the best seasons in school history. Linfield went undefeated in the regular season with an average winning margin of almost 30 points per game on their way to finishing second in the nation. The Cats came up just five points shy of the national championship in the finals of the NAIA tournament. Jeff ended his stellar football career with an all-conference second team selection, repeating as the team's leading receiver, and he is still 11th all-time in passing reception touchdowns in school history. Years later, Linfield would induct the 1962 football team into the Athletic Hall of Fame, forever putting Jeff Durham into their history books. Jeff stayed with Linfield the following year as he finished up his master's in education while serving as an assistant football coach. The team again went undefeated during the regular season, winning 21 consecutive games over a three-year period, which at the time set a new school and conference record. After graduating from Linfield in 1963, Durham spent the next few years teaching PE and coaching football and baseball at both Watonka and Centennial High Schools. He found a permanent home in 1966 at Forest Grove High, where he would teach PE and coach football until his retirement in 1993. His passion for coaching kids put their football program on the map, as Durham's teams racked up winning season after winning season and multiple league championships, including a state record seven consecutive championships beginning in 1973. Jeff earned six League Coach of the Year awards, with the highlight of his career coming in 1976 when his team took second place at the state playoffs while Durham won the State Coach of the Year award. Eventually, Forest Grove High School would dedicate and name their new field after Jeff in honor of his legendary coaching status. 
Today, he can chalk up one more victory. Between his Linfield and now MHS Hall of Fame inductions, perhaps the best word to describe Jeff Durham's career is simply a winner.